This is a story that only a few know today. It's a story of an amazing world of scientific development ranging from amazing space technologies, modern machine, breakthroughs in atomic sciences, and espionage enigma. This is a story about glorious era of Soviet Union, a time when it almost appeared as if Soviets have cracked the code and as if they're going to pioneer human development and bring prosperity to the world at a time when the rest of the globe was struggling with basic life issues. And all of that happening under the ideological framework of 19th century philosopher Karl Marx and his idea of Marxism. But what happened that all of this came to an end? Was it just a mistake of few leaders or a wrong understanding of Marx's idea? Or something deeper than that? Let us embark on this mesmerizing exploration of this chapter of human history where we discuss scientific advancements of Soviet era and what led to its eventual downfall. The first step of journey takes us to the space exploration itself. Picture this, a stark frigid landscape on the outskirts of Kazakhstan, where the Baknur Cosmodrome emerges from the barren earth like a sentinel of human ambition. The Soviets launched the world's first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, in 1957, and it marked the dawn of space age. The dazzling beep of Sputnik's radio signal resonated across the planet, forever altering the human history. Weighing approximately 184 pounds, Sputnik 1 was a spherical satellite equipped with four large antennas which emitted radio signals that could be received on Earth. The launch of Sputnik 1 initiated space race between United States and Soviet Union during the Cold War. It emerged Soviet technology prowess and led to concerns about national security in the United States. Sputnik 1 orbited the Earth with an altitude ranging from 215 to 939 miles, transmitting radio beeps that were detectable by radio operators throughout the world. On January 1958, Sputnik 1 re-entered Earth's atmosphere and it burned up, but its legacy endures as a symbol of space exploration and the beginning of space age. Another milestone was achievement of Yuri Gagarin's heart-pounding journey in 1961. This Soviet pilot turned into world's first cosmonaut, circling the Earth like a modern-day Icarus. And that was not the end. The USSR's relentless pursuit of stars culminated in Luna 2, which was the first human-made object to touch moon surface an audacious statement of Soviet brilliance. Now let's delve into mind-boggling world of Soviet engineering marvels. Close your eyes and imagine the colossal turbines of Napier Hydroelectric Station, the largest in the world during its time. The station harnessed the power of nature, illuminating home and factories across vast stretches of Soviet landscape. It held immense strategic importance to Soviet Union. It was constructed as a part of Soviet industrialization drive under Stalin's leadership. The station not only supplied electricity to Soviet industrialization efforts, but also served as a symbol of Soviet engineering and technological prowess. Another milestone was Trans-Siberian Railway, spanning a staggering 5,700 miles united a vast nation and showcased the Soviets' mastery over terrain. In the hearts of secrecy, the Soviets unlocked the power of atom. They ventured into boundless realm of nuclear energy. The Soviets built nuclear-powered icebreakers, which had the capacity to conquer the frozen Arctic. They made great strides in field of espionage. They created the infamous KGB, with eyes and ears in every corner of the world. And they also achieved the unthinkable, 
with their space espionage program where they launched spy satellites. Can you imagine that? During the later years of Soviet Union, there was a notable decline in its technology and scientific prowess. This decline was characterized by contribution of factors that hindered the innovation and advancement within the country. The centralized and bureaucratic nature of Soviet system led to inefficiencies in resource allocation, stifling the potential for technological progress. Additionally, a lack of market-driven incentives and absence of competitive environment discouraged scientists and engineers from pursuing ambitious projects. There was also a significant brain drain in this time. Despite early achievements in fields like space exploration and nuclear technology, the Soviet's technological and scientific capacity faced significant challenges and impeded their growth and ultimately contributed to their decline during the Soviet era. It is only for the sake of intellectual integrity and maintaining consistency that we should ponder over the ideology of Marxism that underpinned the Soviet state. There are majorly two issues. The issue of inconsistency, the issue of not fulfilling one's own claim. The issue of inconsistency points out that if the good times of Soviet Union are attributed to Marxism, then Marxism should also have share when it comes to failure of the state. Otherwise, we would fall into inconsistencies where anything good can be conveniently attributed to Marxism and anything bad is just put on the shoulders of leaders with no questions asked from Marxism and its promise to bring human happiness and liberty. Marxism as an ideology claims to explain human nature and suffering that is tied to it throughout the history. It claims to have understood the roots of human suffering and claims to explain all phenomena through its apparatus of historical materialism, a scientific system that can explain all aspects of human experience throughout the history, past, present and future. From such a standpoint, it is worthwhile to explain that if Marxism can account for all human endeavors and suggest right paths, then how is it the case that it failed to miss many aspects of human experience during Soviet times? The aspects of human ambitions and what actually makes a human happy and most importantly, the aspects about what human nature actually is. The decline in scientific prowess, which Marxism claims to maximize, is a contradiction. Marxism should be able to predict this, as it claims to have explanation of human development. Not just that, it should be able to keep the progress going for the same reasons. After all, how can it be the case that a scientific theory, which Marxism claims to be, lacks the knowledge about upcoming pitfalls in human progress and lacks the information about possible ways to resolve it? It only points out that the idea of Marxism fails to capture something crucial about human nature and hence fails to account for many aspects of human experience which people were facing during Soviet times. This is a big issue for Marxism because Marxism claims to have scientific explanation for all aspects of human experience, yet we see it lacking to have an explanation for aspects of human experience. If that is the case, then it becomes a defeater in terms that the ideology fails to accomplish what it actually claims it can achieve, which is being able to give a scientific explanation for everything. And it is only for the sake of same intellectual integrity, the underlying assumptions of Marxism about human nature, labor, economy, social relations should be questioned.